Ladies and gentlemen, are you excited like I am? I hope so because not only is iOS 5 coming out, not only is the 4S coming out, but all the jailbreak tweaks are starting to be optimized for iOS 5. As you can see here, that is SB settings in the flesh. That is the beta version of SB settings running on iOS 5. That is like a notification center implementation of SB settings. Um, and it's awesome. Let me tell you, it's awesome. SB settings is completely revamped, completely renewed, designed for iOS 5. And I'm going to show you all the ins and outs of the new SB settings in this video. So stay tuned for some cool and awesome stuff. Now, you can access the more options here by just doing like I did. Just tap more, the more button. And there is the SB settings setup options. Um, of course, you have multiple different sections here. You have uh, SB settings setup, which is right here. You can uh, show the icon on the home screen. If you want to show the actual SB settings icon, you can do that. I have it off right now. And then you also have a couple more options. You have SB settings options. That's going to be familiar to anyone who's used SB settings in the past. You have status bar, date, you have launch options, you have window options. So basically any SB settings user is going to be familiar with this because it's the same old, same old uh, that you've had in the past. Now here are, is the changes log. Um, then you have this drop down window. This is actually the old school method. And here's the new school method of accessing SB settings, the notification center. But let's focus on the drop down window. Anybody who's used SB settings before is going to be familiar with this. Uh, you can actually outright disable this window, which I have not done just yet, but I will. You can set window toggles. Again, this is all rerun for any SB settings user currently. The activation methods, I have it right now as a double press of the home button. Um, then you have the drop down window theme. Um, like I said, familiarity right here. This is how SB settings is currently uh, the public edition. But again, you can disable that. Now here it is. Here is the familiar way to invoke SB settings. That is uh, the drop down menu. Um, nothing, nothing special there. Drop down window. So let's go ahead and just disable that outright. Um, you can get back to the more app. Um, and change this setting by launching SP settings from the springboard, notification center, or spotlight search page. So you don't have to worry about being locked out if you disable the drop down window. Now, here is the new and improved way to access SP settings it is the iOS 5 plus notification. And obviously, this is the way you're going to want to go for you iOS 5 users. Now, what's interesting, you can actually have a separate list of toggles dedicated for notification center, or you can turn that separate list option off and then use the window toggles from the old school method of accessing SB settings. So you can have all your window toggles set up and just use those if you want to. And then you have notification theme, um, and that's gonna be of course separate from the window theme. Um, all these options here are pretty self-explanatory, smaller toggles, no toggle labels, show title. The more button row, you're gonna want that. Um, the button titles, info row, you're gonna want that for all your IP address information. Show doc, which actually I don't think that works quite yet, uh, but it should be in the future. Doc applications, again, that should be implemented shortly. And then you have your system wide options, hide icons, uh, mobile substrate add ons where you can actually go in and disable certain tweaks just like that. And uh, system options, you know, run of the mill stuff, stuff that you've been able to use on SP settings for some time now, app folders, etc. So not much there as far as system wide options. The big deal here obviously is notification center, folks. This is the new and improved uh, feature for SP settings. And as you can see, it's beautiful. It's high definition as far as the toggles are concerned. It comes with a few high definition themes. Um, so you're gonna really love this. Now, once you actually install SP settings, this new beta version, you're gonna have to go into notification and then under notification center, you should see SP settings. Well, first of all, you're gonna notice it. It's gonna be not in notification center. So you're gonna have to go in, tap SP settings, enable it on notification center or else you're gonna be frustrated, you're not gonna see it. Once it's enabled, you just slide down like that and there you'll get all your SB settings settings. So I hope that was a good overall synopsis of the new SB settings. If you wanna try out this new beta version, you can head over to um, Cydia and then add this repo here, the bitboss.org slash iOS 5 beta. You can just do that, tap edit, add, and then put the URL there. It'll be also in the description below. And then I want you guys to let me know what you think about the new SB settings. Folks, we're getting closer to iOS 5 and jailbreak devs are starting to move on their new releases. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.